Hey guys, what's up? So Josh Cooper here with Just Choose Fitness and it's another day of eating. Now, I'm going to check in with my weight. My weight is 189 pounds. I am 5 foot 8 by the way. Anyway, just a little fun fact. But, abs are still there. I mean, they're starting to kind of kind of disappear. Eh, a little bit. Alright, but abs are still there. Um, remarkably. Now, my pre-workout meal, let's get to the good stuff. Get enough about abs, nobody cares about that, right? No, just kidding. But, here we go, pre-workout meal is, uh, I've already had one apple. Now this is, we can't tell, instant oats, a scoop of chocolate protein powder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some little marshmallow bites in there, that's like five grams of carbs for uh, one serving of that, which is two tablespoons. And then this, two tablespoons, a little bit more carbs, a little bit more protein. Um, gonna throw it in there so it's like a chocolate peanut butter uh, marshmallow oatmeal and then I'm gonna go to the gym hit the gym show you my meals throughout the rest of the day guys stay tuned here we are meal two real quick I got one scoop of whey protein and half a scoop of pro sups and no I didn't plan the shirt and uh, the can and the carbolic but half a scoop of carbolic I had half a scoop during my workout uh, with one scoop of GNC brand whey 60. So um, that's 20 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, had 25 um, during my workout. This is just an easier way to get in my protein and um, in my carbs. So anyway, there we are, meal two down. Something I've seen in the gym real quick. Um, guys, don't, don't, you, you don't really need knee wraps, man. I mean, it's not that serious unless you're a competitive power lifter okay and you're gonna use them in a competition you're really not gonna benefit very much from uh, from using knee wraps much less knee wraps on a leg extension so once again you don't need knee wraps on legs and quite frankly you probably don't even need knee sleeves on a leg extension that probably be a good idea not to do that if your knees bother you that bad and they hurt that bad you probably shouldn't be doing leg extensions that's just a uh, personal advice you know just trying to help help brothers out here. But anyway, no. Knee wraps, I really think they're for competition only. If you're really looking to protect your knees while you're lifting, invest in some good knee sleeves. Um, I personally use two different ones. One's the Ray-Ban knee sleeve, okay, for my for like lighter work, higher rep work. Um, and then when I need something a little bit more sturdy for heavier sets, heavier things, um, I go with the Anderson Powerlifting SBD knee sleeves. Those are extremely thick. If you do any heavy squatting, heavy leg presses, um, or anything like that, then those would be a really, really good investment. Um, the Ray-Bans are like a really good general purpose Olympic lifts, um, recreational lifting. They're very comfortable. They keep the knee warm. So I mean, this is a quick little review of those. But knee wraps, no. And definitely not leg extensions. Anyway. That's meal two. A little bit of advice. Check out meal three that's coming. Meal number three. All right. Uh, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. I got two scoops away. I got a salad, football on there, and uh, me and my girlfriend are probably gonna end up going out to eat later. So I'm trying to save my macros a little bit, save my calories, um, play around, have something fun to eat. But that's it. I got probably over. I think it's about over 200 grams of carbs, of 250, 300 left to hit for the day, and uh, about 50, 45, 50 grams of fat. So I'm kind of just barely tracking along, but pretty good numbers. So probably going to be pretty interesting later on in the video. Anyway, stay tuned and check it out. Anyway, we're driving around trying to find something to eat. My ADHD is making it a little bit hard here. Very hard, actually. Went to Cheddar's. I think that's where we're going back to because she said she wanted a burger. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to hit my macros over here. Me too. Well, yeah, you, but you know. <laughs> these are my macros. Oh, uh, they're mine too. Our macros. Okay, fair. Macros together. Okay. That sounds a little weird. <laughs> just keep going. But anyway, so we're probably going to Cheddar's, probably mm. having a burger, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go actually go up, look on my phone, look at the burger, and kind of see how it sounds, what the macros might be. Um, a thing is when you're gonna go order out, like yeah, okay, a lot of times places aren't gonna have, uh, they're not gonna have what you're trying to order on the menu, or like on your little My Fitness Pal, Fit Day, whatever you're doing. 
So, um, ways what you can do, you know, just look at your food and guesstimate it by what you already know other servings are, are going to be. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Like, if you know you're getting a hamburger, um, you don't have to be all like, oh my god, they don't have the macros I can eat out of. Or, I don't know the exact macros. Do guesstimate. And usually when you're going to go out to eat, you want to, you want to, then add, add or add 10 grams of fat, you know, to what, whatever it says in the calorie app, add a little bit to it because they're going to be a lot more generous in their servings. And the cheese and the condiments, they're not going to weigh it out. They don't care that you're on a diet. <laughs> they don't give a shit. Okay, basically. There we go. They don't give a shit. So yeah. add a little, add a little bit more to it. Um, I always go up on the fats because that's usually they usually um, they use more oil, more cheese, stuff like that. So uh, keep it simple um, and do things like that anyway. We're gonna get to the restaurant. I think it's like a 20 minute wait. So um, hopefully I don't get bored and uh, get kicked out. But they're just kidding. Oh, but anyway, 20 minute, 20 minute wait. So. Um, Stay tuned, and we're gonna show you our meals when we got have them. I might even have some drinks because there's nothing wrong with fitting in a couple of drinks if you're grown and you're of age, at least 21 years old in the state of the United States. <laughs> so hey, let's keep this legal here. Um, anyway, stay tuned. Check it out. I'll show you what I got when I got it. Yeah. All right, guys. So here we are. What I got. I don't know if you can hear me, but came to Cheddar's. I got their little cookie. Dude, I only get half of that. Half. All right. This half is mine. That half is probably hers. It's mine. <laughs> um, and then I got like, it's like a hot, sweet, tangy um, chicken breast with shrimp and a spicy sauce. Actually, even, even this guy's, I still have about 150 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat left to hit for the day um, on top of my meal that I'm gonna eat before I go to bed. So a lot of food left. <laughs> on top of this stuff right here. All about the numbers, guys. All about the numbers. Anyway, so we'll finish this, okay? and there we go. <laughs> Come on, babe, what'd you get? A burger. A burger? I'm pretty excited about it. You're what? I'm pretty excited about it. And then you're gonna eat half of this, right? Yeah. Come on, take a bite. Come on, come on. Take a bite. What do you think? Good. That's really good. That's what we're dealing with right now, guys. If you can see that line, it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous, and it's like midnight. I uh, came here to actually to get Eddie's slow turn pumpkin patch and some banana split and banana. So um, I don't think no, no, we're not doing it. So <laughs> time to be a little more creative and uh, cause nobody's got time to wait in the line like that. So um, I'm gonna put my stuff back go back to the house and see what I can put together to hit my macros because unfortunately I'm way too tired to be standing <laughs> in line for all those people oh my God, for some, going. Yeah, for some <laughs> ice cream and bananas this is a never ending line right now it's totally not worth it like why are they all these people oh, they, they must be trying to hit their macros too because every single one of them so we're just gonna go ahead and go and do our thing so anyway stay tuned Hopefully you'll check it out. And I'll actually find something to hit my macros. It's worth watching. So, so guys, this is, I don't know, whatever the next meal is. I got two scoops of Seti Core chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, one container of Mayfield snow cream. It, only thing we could find, I went, I stopped at a QT gas station. I don't know if y'all are familiar with those. Searching through the macros of all our ice cream, everything in the store to see what I could have. because. 
pretty much everything I got here is nothing but pro food, and I got like 80 <laughs> grams of carbs to hit and 50 grams of protein, so I was kind of like, yeah, I want something that's actually going to taste good. Um, so I got a container of this. One package of these little Skittles thing, or well, M and M's, pretzel M and M's. It's a little over 80 grams of carbs, um, but it's nothing, nothing too big of a deal. Anyway, see what I'm doing here? I don't know if you guys see. I made two scoops of this study core into like a sludge, topping my ice cream, almost like a, like a pudding. This stuff, mmm, it's amazing. All right. But anyway, so I'm gonna eat this meal, finish this up, and I have one more meal before I go to bed, my typical berries and protein powder, but if you haven't seen it and you're just tuning in, check it out and I'll have it ready for you. Anyway guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, so last meal of the day, like usual, one cup of berries and one scoop of Promacil. Anyway. I already ate it, kind of forgot to put it on camera, but that's what it was. And you already guys already know, pretty much my regular one cup of berries, one scoop of Promacil, and I'm off to bed. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Like, like if you liked it, man, for real. Um, feedback is really important. Comment, let me know if there's something you didn't like or anything you got questions about. Co Y'all's comments are very, very important. Your feedback is super important. Um, it helps me make better content um, and videos for you and let me know what you guys like and what you don't like. So like, if you liked, comment, share so other people can see it. Other people can comment and get a little more feedback. And always, always, just choose fitness.